What's going on, everybody? I know a lot of people ask me about this Dallas show um, that just passed up with a gentleman that got arrested. I was sent two different video clips onto it, which I'm going to play for you. The first one has, well, one of them has sound and the other one doesn't. The longer one, it's like 45 seconds. The sound had to come out because there was like some um, music playing on during it. And if I play it, it starts causing issues with YouTube, taking videos down and all that other stuff. So that one there, if I can figure out how to get my voice over it, I will. If not, it, it's just 45 seconds of probably some kind of background um YouTube music that's like legal for me to play will be on it. This is what I know. I've heard different stories. It was a Luca 101. There's a picture in the 45 second clip that shows uh, Luca Prism Auto 9510. I am taking it that that is the card and not the 101 that somehow got exaggerated out there. But what I do know is the guy stole it on a Saturday. He came back Sunday trying to sell it and got busted. So I'm going to play both video clips here. There'll be like a little section cut out real quick, about five seconds, just to separate the videos. And I'll come back real quick just to hit a few things onto it. So this is pretty much the video here, buddy. Hopefully this works right with the voiceover. And it's going to show here very shortly the Luca card itself. And like I said, it was not a one on one that they showed in this video, which makes me think a lot of this stuff was misleading offhand. And here's some of the camera stuff where it's showing it was stolen. Right there. Pretty crazy security stuff. And this is the picture of the Luca right there. They're saying 9510. And there's a picture of the security that they were getting on to all this stuff at it. So pretty interesting overall. And there's a picture of him getting cuffed. You guys will see the next clip here in just a second. All right, so as you've seen, there was two different video clips showing it. it is, it's bad news and good news for the hobby. First off the bat, it's bad news somebody's trying to steal from somebody out there. It's good news that he got arrested and busted for it, you know. And hopefully this starts uh, showing now we've had two different people in the last, I'd say, 30 days, you know, get hit on some charges for this stuff. And that there's going to be a felony because I know the card, even if it's a 9510, Luca uh, Prism Rookie Auto is over 5000 So, all kind of stuff onto that. What I do also know is that they did have security, and you've seen towards, I don't know if it was towards the middle, middle end of the 45-second uh, clip with the security showing it and everything on there. And that's the good thing about the bigger shows. They have security for those buildings, and then they hire normally additional security. I know when I ran my shows, I never really told anybody I had security there, but I would have two or three of my buddies swap out and come in. They would just walk around just to make sure everything, you know, was good and stuff like that there. But it was more for the point of not having any kind of like arguments going through there and stuff like that. So just thinking about this if you have them bigger shows you got to have it and plus i had people that were out near the park and or they would rotate out in the parking lot because that's where my most fear was it wasn't really happening what would happen on the inside it was on the outside somebody walking out with their cards somebody walking out with a lot of money and you know they would just chill in their car watch people stuff like that there my whole idea wasn't to have them you know doing anything crazy out there and stuff but yeah for something really different on those videos. But I wanted to get that posted for everybody just so everybody can see the two different videos out there. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure the Nashville is going to be 
super super high on security up there with stuff like this here we if you guys remember two i think it was two nationals ago maybe three where the guy was busted for selling fake autograph memorabilia oh wow i'll never forget because i was in a live break and there was they were all talking about because you could see it in the background in a way too with them escorting a the dude out and then they were uh taking uh flatbeds of all the guy's stuff out but that's pretty much it everybody i just wanted to get these out because some people asked me about them and i just had some other videos that i had to get popped out first yeah um, i don't know what it'll be for videos for the rest of the week right now there's not a whole lot out and i don't want to go fishing for stuff right now show is on saturday i'll try to get that video out either sunday or monday for everybody and then I'll be back on a regular course the following week, and then we'll hit overtime the following Friday. A lot of stuff to talk about that's happened over the last two weeks. So if you get a chance to come in for overtime, please do. I might back it up an hour. I got to talk with Joey, see if he wants to come live with it, and if he if he's able to back it up an hour at his schedule too. See how well that does. All right, you guys take care. Have a good week. I'll catch you all next video.